hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we have something to talk about so I'm not sure how I'm gonna name this video yet but I know that we're going to be talking about intuition and um, I kind of want you to get in my head to understand how things work for me or for probably any other medium or intuitive it's very I think it's very personal it might work a bit differently for um, other people depends on what uh, powers they have or abilities so I'm just gonna talk about my own personal experience and I'm gonna try to give you examples or show you how it might feel like okay or at least explain how this works so regarding intuition guys you always ask me hey Brigitte how do you develop your intuition I'm not gonna be probably uh, very surprised by what I'm gonna tell you but basically how my day starts um, I start my day questioning everything already. So from the moment I wake up, let's say I would tune into myself and kind of ask my intuition, uh, am I going to be late to work? It's not that I would ask my intuition, am I going to be late to work or there's going to be any obstacle. Um, it's more so I switch off my head, which is really hard to do. And I feel it rather than think about the situation. So when I would think about journey to work, that's the only thing that I do. I start thinking about it and then I shut my head off completely, my mind off. I don't think about, let's say, if the weather is bad, if it's going to mess my journey up somehow, whatever, whatever. Just go like blank and I listen to my gut, what it's going to tell me. Most of the times I was noting it down, I mean, I would say 80% of the time, if not 90, intuition was correct when it came to me feeling that something's going to go wrong or I shouldn't be rushing. So I listen to my gut from the moment I wake up. So let's say if I feel like I should go to the shop before I go to work and I know that might make me late to work, but I'm just going to go anyway because I feel like it, you know? So <laughs> I know this is so strange, but that's what I do. And um, when I go to the shop and I come out of it and I go to the train station, um, that's when I realized that trains were actually delayed or canceled. So I didn't even have to rush in the first place. You need to log everything for yourself so you know better, okay, next time. And it will make sense more and more you do it. Be very curious. That's the main thing. You have to be curious about everything. It's a bit like a madhouse, you know. I, my head is a bit like a madhouse. And uh, sometimes you have to take a break from it. It's fine. Take a break whenever you feel like it's a bit too much, you know, and you have to kind of switch off. It's fine. At first, it might be a little bit messy. The more you do it, the more you practice, the more you develop your um, abilities of any sorts, the easier it gets. For example, um, when I started doing mediumship, I don't know if you know the story or not. When Joey was still living here, he was talking about this friend, this friend of his. And um, when I tuned into his friend without really wanting to, I felt like I had to, you see? So I go by what I'm told. Even when it comes to simple things like choosing the meal that I'm gonna eat. I usually try not to pre-cook meals because I listen to my body. What do I need that exact day? That's how I think I'm not sick very often. Well, phew, I need to probably <laughs> hit the wood three times. It's all about listening to your body. What does it need? You go to the gym, let's say if people are working out certain ways and you don't feel like that's your way, don't do it. Do everything your way. Don't look at others, especially when it comes to intuition don't listen to external sources and not in a cocky way in a way that you can listen to people telling you things what you should do when it comes to advice but your final decision should be coming from here okay so it's okay to listen to everyone else's opinion but really tune into your own heart and say hey how do i feel about this situation and guys it's about feeling not thinking that's the main 
that's the core thing when it comes to intuition have to switch it off up there it's difficult i know so it's rather it's not it's not like hey how is this trip going to be and then you start thinking hmm, we're gonna have such a nice hotel um, everything has to be perfect because of the place because of the people who are coming with me right and uh, we have the celebration coming up so that's already your thoughts and your intellect talking and intellect and intuition um, go like that okay <laughs> so that's why it might be difficult for you uh, rather think how am I feeling about this trip and don't imagine things just blank out okay just go like, hmm, how do I feel about it? And really tune in there. So where was I getting to because I've lost my train of thought? Okay, so how I started, how mediumship started for me, it was very unexpected. Me and Joey went outside and he was talking about his friend. And um, without me really doing it on purpose, I tuned into her energy and... Um, I was like he kept on talking and I was like this whole time hey there's an old man next to her and I started describing this this man that I saw a uh, parent figure um, male very um, bright face and then they, I don't want to give away too much uh, about this person's personal life or especially when it comes to this um, dad figure but the thing is that I started describing things that he was saying to her and that was someone who was deceased so Joey stopped me there and he was like okay this is her dad so just keep on going so I just kept on going and I asked him hey can you go because it was his colleague uh, can you go to work and ask her if she's comfortable with that if um, she's okay with these things but we kind of knew that she was because she was very interested in spiritual things and um, Especially she wanted to hear messages from dad. That's what I uh, found out afterwards. Okay, so he kind of came through to me and then Joe told me what all the messages meant. And now I'm going to try to show you guys how mediumship feels like. And that's for those who want to learn mediumship too. You know, sometimes you, you wait and <laughs> I think I was talking to my friend and my friend was like, so now? You know when I'm tuning into someone and I'm trying to get message from deceased, it's like I'm staring at the wall and I'm waiting for something to happen or someone to appear, you know, or just whisper something in my ear. <laughs> That's not how it happens, unfortunately. It's all very subtle. Okay, so if I told you, for example, that I see roller coaster, so that doesn't come through as the whole like moving, you know, magical. A movie scene okay it doesn't come through like that I'm gonna try to show you see it okay so um, there are a lot of senses when it comes to this so you have to what I use uh, what what comes through to me um, usually I do see things firstly and then I feel things these are most important to me that I pay attention to how this person makes me feel like and um, they would come through uh, with smells but um, it doesn't happen very often in my case it depends on what kind of person we're talking about so how they want to come through but that happens too and um and i would hear but hearing is not like you would imagine hearing okay so let's start from the beginning let's start from let's say if i told you that i saw a roller coaster so i'm gonna try to replicate this as much as I can so that you'd see how quick this image comes in your head and how quickly it leaves you let's use a different lighting I'm sorry we're just gonna have to use this now guys what the hell why is my life like this when it comes to tech Hey guys, so I'm back. Sorry about the light because technology doesn't work with me. It's as if everything switches off the moment I walk in the room. Let's continue with mediumship. I'm gonna try to give you a glimpse of how it feels like for me, how I see it, um, how it comes through to me. So that roller coaster that I talked about, um, I'm gonna try to replicate it 
as closely as possible of how it would come through to me personally okay so here's a glimpse take a look people um expect visions that they see that are very movie like and that's not how it comes through usually okay that's not real life mediumship leave it to hollywood okay so what's happening when they're trying to make me feel certain way so i'll give you an example so let's say if there was someone I don't know if I should take such a difficult case, uh, but I'm just gonna go with it because it, it would be the most intense, okay? Um, for example, if I had someone who have killed themselves, right? And I'd connect to this person, uh, trying to pass a message to someone who was dear to their heart. Now, how they make me feel, the person that killed themselves, I never ask information about people before I do mediumship because uh, that's when intellect gets in the way and you might mix some things up. So that doesn't help. Ask only for the name if you need the name. Uh, sometimes if you feel like you need um, the image of a person, never ask about background information. It's gonna F with your head. Okay, so now if I have someone whom um, have killed themselves and I have to pass the message to their beloved one. How they make me feel usually. So there, um, I had a couple of scenarios. Um, firstly, imagine that feeling of I'm sorry. So how can you feel I'm sorry? Let's say, imagine yourself spilling a coffee over someone's um, brand new shirt and without you speaking without you saying i'm sorry or apologizing how do you feel so that's how it comes through i'm so sorry you know and you feel it rather than hear it so that feeling of sorry or that feeling of i didn't have enough time um that feeling is a bit more difficult to explain because you have to go get into the situation yourself um let's say imagine if you didn't have enough time for your friend um they came to visit you from let's say another part of the world and it just happened that you didn't have enough time for them so instead of speaking it you would feel that way so it's all about feeling certain ways they would also make me feel would give me um physical sensations so let's say if someone has died from a heart attack i would have like a quick um and it comes through differently uh, to different illnesses but I try not to i'm not a doctor i try not to try and tell what it was that they had exactly i would rather just point out um where the problem was there is a difference to someone who has had a heart attack and who had a problem with their heart that was kind of continuous uh, so someone who had a heart attack i would just feel uh, my heart would be heavy someone who um, had this chronic pain or this um, illness that was repetitive disease of some sorts right so i would get uh, like quick pain in my heart from time to time when i'm doing a reading now if i do have a case of someone who has who was an addict right so i would i would have this um, massive i didn't get it at first i just found out later on why i was feeling such way um i would have this um headache but different from any other headaches i had you know um i would call it hangover headache it's something about this feeling of me wanting to fix it i know how to fix it and i need something to fix it with now when we're talking about someone who um who was medicated or was not sober before they have died i would have this feeling of being dizzy in my head okay i'd be like a bit disorientated so that's how it comes through so sometimes they want to show me how they died because i do ask for confirmations you see i'm very factual so i need to make sure that whoever i'm passing messages to they know that this is the person that we're talking with we also like to say hi to those um, who are around so let's say if someone has passed um, before someone was born they usually would come through um, saying like hey by the way say hi to that to the little one and that would come through for me as a quick image of a child 
I wouldn't always know if um, a child is what sex what sex the child is so I would ask them sometimes they would tell me okay they would they would show me the image of a child that would be kind of gen gender neutral so I know that's a little one and then they would give me a feeling that would come through feeling okay a boy or a girl and I don't know how to explain that to you but it just feels like a feminine or masculine and um, they usually like to say so all of the things that they talk about when it comes to their the life after after their death uh, they like to prove that they're around us and now that's what people do not understand when it comes to death a lot of people I think and that's why a lot of people are afraid of death right or lose them the loved one um, they never go anywhere and that's <laughs> that's something we should talk about more often because the way they come through all of the cases that I had is the way that they say hey by the way I saw this child being born say hi to them hey by the way I saw someone getting married hey by the way I saw you graduating so how is that working right if we lose someone and they go far far away and we never see them again or they're never close to us and that's not the case guys you need to understand that you can connect with your beloved one at any time and they're always around you so what coincidences do you have um, that reminds you of that person are not really coincidences these are your deceased talking to you kind of saying hey i'm here i'm looking after you especially when it comes to difficulties He's showing me white petals and white flowers so if you see petals some on the street white especially um, white flowers draws your attention remember that it's kind of his sign of saying you know hey I'm around you know why he keeps sending those white petals and flowers and as I was talking I literally I looked at the side and I mean look at this I just have it there so these are just literally like signs that you have to notice this um, girl that I done the mediumship for unknowingly I woke up from the nap and Joe was like hey she's here blah 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 so do you mind doing mediumship I had a coffee and I've done mediumship for her and funny fact was I told her exactly what I told you now pay attention to everything everything from um, lyrics in the music from what songs play what song plays at what what time usually they come through songs too the smells the sounds the coincidences right so we talked with her we finished our conversation we came outside and she goes do you smell barbecue i'm like and i looked at her in a way like no because it's not for me and she goes what do you mean it's not for me and she goes oh my god he loved barbecues and I'm like so that's your confirmation that he was with us this whole time just remember that you know it's not death is I think something that people don't want to talk about much but we are afraid of things that we don't understand just understand that your deceased are always around you and you never they never go far away from you even if um, they would reincarnate you can still access their energy which is very strange and um, I know we would probably never be able to prove how the reincarnation really works because we can talk about it but we don't have facts and they're factual I don't know I can just tell you what I think but I know that even if it's been a really really long time since this person has died I can still access the energy of theirs and I can still pass the messages and I just wonder how that works so if anyone uh, try to I don't know figure this out let me know but I think it's only gonna be our opinions right now when it comes to you wanting to connect to someone I would say it all starts so let's say if you want to start doing mediumship it all starts with developing your intuition so these two go hand in hand because the moment you realize how to really listen to your gut feeling is the moment when you can tune into um, someone else's energy who has crossed over uh, why because you need to understand how to switch off your brain 
okay and how to allow become like a blank canvas and how to allow everything the feelings the sensations the visions the smells everything to come to you so the moment you blank yourself out the moment you just there allow it all to come is the moment you get how how to do everything else using your intuition and the gift i don't like this name this this word because everyone has it and how to use the gift okay so spoken so let me know if this has given you a better understanding of how these things work um there is no magical way how to there is no, there is no book how to practice and how to develop your intuition it all comes from small things and then it turns to bigger and bigger and bigger things where you can actually feel what's going to happen in the future okay so practice it every single day and it's not something that you just forget the next week and then come back to it it has to be a gradual development the moment you start developing your intuition is the moment where your life will become much easier because you won't be afraid of making decisions especially when it comes to taking risks in life you will be like all of this time my intuition was right when it comes to me risking and doing something risky in my life i have a feeling that this is gonna turn out great what developing my intuition did to me and especially mediumship i'm not afraid of what's gonna come next i'm not afraid of um let's say the next disaster i'm not afraid of even um losing people in my life as much because i know that they're always gonna be there you know there is no energy remember energy doesn't come from nowhere it doesn't leave us you know it's energy is always there energy cannot be lost energy will always be accessible and um, i think as long as you practice and as long as you listen to your gut and do not allow any distractions adjust your path in life is the moment when you will become someone who is able to navigate your life perfectly well and also help those around you so i hope it made sense and i hope this was helpful for someone out there let me know if you want to discuss anything else about it if it wasn't clear if you want me to clarify something uh, hit me up let me know down below in the comment section and i'm gonna catch you next time tribe bye for now